Hey guys, in this video I will be taking a look at Ubuntu 11.10 Beta 1. So let's get stuck into it. You will notice that we have the same theme as Ubuntu 11.04. And the first major difference that you will notice is um, the Ubuntu icon is no longer in the top left hand corner. It is um, on the um, Unity dock. Uh, we have the um, Dash Home, though I will take a look at that later. Um, I am currently running um, the ISO image in VirtualBox. I haven't installed it. Um, and let's take a look at the icons in the top right hand corner here. We have the network icon. Uh, we have the um, mail icon where you can obviously set your availability um, for the um, chat application. And you can set up broadcast accounts like Twitter, etc. and Ubuntu One. We have the volume control as well as the um, Banshee media controls. We have the clock with the calendar and we have um, system settings, um, display settings. You can set up startup applications from here, um, which I quite like. Um, it makes it you know, very simple for the average user to change what comes or opens that um, startup. Uh, software up to date, you must be able to check for updates, attached um, devices like printers, you can log out, suspend or shut down. Um, there isn't a restart command um, included in this menu. Um, and on the um, Unity dock, I obviously have the option to install it. We have um, the home folder, which um, is Nautilus from memory. Yep, Nautilus um, 3.1.4. Um, and I quite like um, the style of it. I believe the, um, you know, the theming or the style of Nautilus might be slightly different. I could be wrong. Uh, and let's see which version of um, Firefox um, we have installed. Uh, we have Firefox version 7.0. Um, it's a bit funny with Linux distributions at the moment. Some of them have Firefox version 5, 6 or 7. Mandriva 2011, which only came out a few days ago, um, came with Firefox um, 5 by default. Um, I don't really like their new, um, you know, new um, version numbers. You know, they sort of copied um, Google um, Chrome a bit. I preferred it when every um, new major release had a new um, major version number, though they most likely won't change it back. We have LibreOffice Writer, Calc and Impress, which is obviously the equivalent to Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel and Microsoft PowerPoint. We have the Ubuntu Software Center, which is definitely a major change in Ubuntu 11.10. Um, as you can see, um, it is so much easier on the eyes. It is a bit like the Mac App Store. So we have all the software, we have the categories, what's new, you know, the top rated um, applications. Um, you can view the applications that are currently installed on your computer. Okay, something seems to have gone wrong. Uh, and we also have the history uh, um, of installed applications. Uh, it seems to be playing up a little bit. Um, though, yeah, I quite like the look of the um, Ubuntu Software Center, even though things seem to be going wrong quite a bit. Uh, though, let's click on an application. We have the logo and the name of the application, the star rating. Uh, this is a free application. I imagine that you can get paid applications. There's all of the information, the add-ons, you know, the version information, total size, license information. And you can read all of the reviews at the bottom, which is um, quite nice. Um, and we have the workspaces, you know, you can obviously click one workspace to preview it, click out to go back, etc. Which I quite like. And we have the trash can. Now let's take a look at the menu, which has also um, changed um, significantly. We have um, the search bar at the top here. We have all of the um, application logos in the middle here. And we have four tabs at the bottom. We have the home tab, the music tab. Uh, the application tab and um, the search files and folders tab. So if you go to the music tab, you can search for music, though none is included by default, I don't believe. Though I really like how you can filter the results. You can filter by the decade or the genre, which is um, very nice. And here we have um, all of the applications. We have most frequently used, installed and apps available for download. So I could go to installed applications and, you know, it's a bit um, daunting going through all of them sometimes. So you can choose the category. So I could um, click accessories and let's quickly go through all of the applications. You know, we have archive manager, backup, a disk burner, calculator, character map, um, disk usage analyzer, disk utility, the file manager, 
uh, may help program IBAR screenshot, search for files, the terminal text editor, tomboy notes, text diagnose. No education programs are included by default, and they don't even um, appear to be any games included by default. Uh, we have the graphics applications, the document viewer, image viewer, LibreOffice tour, ShotVill photo manager, simple scan. We don't appear to have the GIMP, though that might be included in the DVD version. And the internet, we have desktop sharing and remote desktop viewer. I cannot remember whether or not these were included in Ubuntu 11.04 or not. We have empathy um, for, you know, IM. We have Thunderbird, um, Firefox, um, Transmission, BitTorrent Client, River, Social um, Client. Uh, we have no font applications included. We obviously have all of the Libre um, Office programs, so Calc, Draw, Impress, Math and Writer. Uh, for media, we have Banshee Media Player, which is the, um, you know, the default primary media player, the Zero Disk Burner, Movie Player, Sound Recorder. Um, and the customization, um, most of these are um, your typical programs included. Um, so I haven't seen this program before, Color. I'll take a look at that in a second, though, you know, not much has changed here, though I'm interested to find out what this color application is. Uh, some sort of color profile manager, though I will take a look at that a bit later and get back to you on what that is. Um, accessibility, so um, what's this, the onboard keyboard, onboard keyboard settings, Orca, screen reader and magnifier. Uh, we have no developer applications included by default, no science and engineering applications, and all of the system applications, you know, should be, you know, just your typical LAM um, applications included with every Linux distribution for the most part. We also have this sort of star rating. I'm not sure what this is for. I'm not sure, you know, what application it is you're rating or, you know, what category, etc. Maybe this is a bit of a bug. Um, but yeah, I'm quite liking um, the changes in Ubuntu 11.10. Uh, they also appear to have gotten rid of the applications icon, so if you want to access an application, you have to click dash home, and you might, um, you know, just have to um, type in the name of the program, if it decides to work. Okay, that's strange. You must have to um, be on the applications page. Or maybe it's just playing up a bit. I'm trying to get it to open LibreOffice. Yeah, I think it's playing up a bit. I haven't installed it and it's playing up a bit. So you should be able to open the Dash Home and just type in the name of the application and um, you know then just obviously get straight into it. But overall I'm quite liking the look and feel of um, Ubuntu 11.10 though it's obviously only at um, beta 1 stage. Obviously when the final release um, comes out there will be a lot less bugs you know we found the Ubuntu software center and um, this sort of search bar at the top here which doesn't seem to want to work for me right now. So um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me and thanks for watching.